Oakland, California is one of the most dangerous cities in America. I mean, when you make the list of top 10 most dangerous cities, maybe they change a little bit year to year, but let's just say it's one of the top ones every single year. So last year, Oakland went out and hired themselves a brand new chief of police. She figured out what the problem was. The problem was, well, the cops were the problem. The cops were causing crime. Solution? arrest fewer black people. So they went out and started arresting fewer people. Surprise, you arrest fewer people, you stop fewer people, your crime numbers are going to go down. But the weird thing about, well, anyway, let's watch this video, then I'll tell you the weird thing, the really weird thing about this. 2016, a study by Stanford researchers found Oakland police were stopping far more African Americans than whites in traffic and pedestrian stops. Just over a year ago, or almost a year ago really, Oakland police chief Ann Kirkpatrick took over the head of the OPD. In her first days, she promised to reduce racial profiling by officers and shift to a precision-based policing model. New data released just this week from Stanford finds the racial disparity appears to be narrowing. The number of traffic stops involving African Americans in Oakland has dropped 18%. For more this morning, happy to be joined by Oakland Police Chief Ann Kirkpatrick. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Of course, let's talk about this 18% drop in the stops of African Americans in Oakland. You say it's because of precision-based policing. Correct. Define that for us. Well, precision-based policing is a strategy and a uh, different way of policing than we used to do. So, in precision-based policing, we are telling our officers we do know that 20 per, or 80 percent of our crime is done by 20 percent of the population. So we know basically who this 20 percent is. So instead of looking at everybody, we look only at the precise people who are engaged in criminal behavior. How do you know who those people are? Usually it's from repeated behavior. So then we know, and we are focused, as you know, on reducing gun violence in our city and so it is repeated behavior that gives us an indication of who is engaged in the behavior. Are you focusing on individuals, on neighborhoods? How targeted can you be? No, we mainly uh, individuals in behavior. So it's very important that our focus not be on a person's gender, their race, but a behavior. And so it is behavior that we are focused on and we do, as I said, could tell you that based on history, we know who is engaging in criminal behavior. And so we're trying to intervene versus just arrest as well. But we're stopping what a lot fewer people than we ever have before. We want to restore relationships and we know particularly our African American community has been wounded and so uh, we just gave a different mission and our numbers are proving the fruit of what we said we were going to do and so we're very proud of that we have a new story to tell about the Oakland Police Department we think we are um, an agency that that is the best in this country but we want to restore where we have caused harm and hurt. These numbers reflect your department's work in the past six months. Right. Many people grew up generations in Oakland. How long do you think it will take to really ease that feeling of the police are not on my side? We're seeing it already. We, you know, I think we as Americans and Oaklanders particularly, this is the most kind uh, embracing community. I'm an outsider and everyone has been so welcoming. I think in our human nature we desire to um, get back to harmony. I think we desire that we forgive and we have to prove though that we earn that restored relationship and we're seeing it just by how the community responds to us. Look at our barbershop form. That is fruit of restoring relationships on both sides. Do you so. think that there is a national awakening, not just here in Oakland, that's leading to these discussions about, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, I had a child ask me, why are so many black people arrested, in, right. in his words? Right, right. A lot of little ones are struggling with that. And so we're showing proof through the Stanford study that we are actually not even contacting as many people, particularly our African-American But you're still making residents. the same number of arrests. We are. 
And we are able to, though, uh, make more quality type decisions of arrest. My desire, and I think in all earnestness, Oakland is leading the nation on this. We are transforming, and Oakland is restoring relationships, and where we have it, we're going to continue to go back to that table. Oakland, but uh, arresting everybody is not that answer. We would rather see intervention before arresting. Would you agree you still have work to do? African Americans represent two-thirds of the arrests made by OPD, but they're only about a quarter of the population Correct. here in Oakland. Correct. Oh, we have work to do. And all relationships, you must continually invest in relationships over a lifetime. And so I believe and know we can get into a restored relationship where the community is proud of us. I'm proud of Oakland Police Department. We have a new story to tell about us. But I think we're showing proof of that, even in the numbers. Okay, as you come up on your one-year mark here as the yes. head of OPD. Chief Kirkpatrick, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. So the report is from Stanford a lot more explicit than this news story is. So the report said they arrested and stopped 18% uh, fewer black people, but they arrested 34% fewer white people. So the racial disparity has increased. Oh man, Oakland is one big hot chocolate mess because it is a dangerous city. It's a truly dangerous, dark and dirty city. A tradition of all, it has a tradition of criminality and lawlessness. And now the solution is arrest fewer people. Let me know how that works out, Oakland. Let me know how that works out in some other way besides making, not making the black kids angry.